Hey, this is Chris Housen from Your Morning with Richard and Chris, and I am here with Marina and the Diamonds, who is a fabulous singer all the way from Wales, who is here in Canada for her first time. How are you doing? Very, very well. I'm loving it here. Oh, great. So you're here, and you're going to be playing at the Opera House tonight, yeah. and you're promoting your new album that just came out this year, your debut album, The Family Jewels. It's in stores now. Um, how does it feel to travel halfway around the world and still have people screaming your name? Well, when I think about it, it's actually mental that people even know me here, because I'm not not like a pure pop artist where I've had success very quickly so it's fantastic I'm so happy to be here and I'm get to go shopping in a bit <laughs> for a British artist um, North America is kind of seen as this dome that it's hard to get into um, what made you decide to attempt a tour here so early in your career because I could thankfully um, I think for you UK artists it is quite hard and it's quite rare that you get the opportunity so uh, we yeah, I, basically I pushed my management <laughs> to organise a tour here because I love it and I know that um, I can build a really solid career here. I just know it. So it made sense too and it's worked out really well because the tickets have sold really wonderfully. And you mentioned that you're going to go shopping and you look fantastic already. What kind of clothing are you into? I love American vintage. Um, so I'm going to check out... Canadian vintage today and I'm gonna go to is it called black cat or something um there's one called the black market oh black market the black market <laughs> I absolutely love that. that spot I personally recommend it um at the end of last year you were announced a runner-up for this BBC sound of 2010 and you you came second to Ellie Goulding now do you know her personally yeah I do we were like we used to hang out probably a year before everything happened because we were in the same kind of social group and she's lovely. I was such a fan of her music before, so... So is there any rivalry now? No. And you know what? Even if, if there was, no one would actually say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, come on. Like, I genuinely, I just love her music, so I can't be like that. I'm not like one of those girls. Were you surprised when you were announced as one of the finalists? Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, thought, I thought I would be in it, but I didn't think I'd be second. I thought I'd be seventh, eighth. So I was, I was really thrilled. So your music is unbelievably relatable. What inspires you to write? Weakness and fear, <laughs> usually, which is, are the things that make people feel like they can relate to you and that, that you know, they feel more comfortable because I like confronting things. And uh, once you accept that you're scared about something, it suddenly becomes less scary. Speaking of fear, are you working on a second album at all? Speaking of fear, <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, I know they say that you have your entire life to write your first album, then when it comes to your sophomore. No, I don't believe in that because I, ju I just don't believe in that. I mean, I, I certainly didn't write about my whole life in the first one. And also, I just think if you're someone who's very questioning and likes to challenge themselves, you'll always have material to write about. And it's your job as an artist to be disciplined and to write regularly. And, um, yeah, I never stopped writing after the first album, so I have a few little... Songs. <laughs> um, do you have any teaser on what they might be like? No, can't tell you anything. Oh, please. No, it's, I mean, it's quite different from the first album. Okay, well, there, I got something out of you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're playing tonight at the Opera House. Yeah. What can we expect from the performance? It's very theatrical. I love for it to feel intimate, no matter what the size of the venue. It's got a few costume changes. It's quite vampy. It's got some fluffy velvet burgers, hamburgers <laughs> involved. <laughs> And, yeah, I, I guess you'll just have to see. It's a very energetic show. So in Toronto, you become somewhat of a mini gay icon. Is that something you ever ex uh, expected to become? A mini one? Can't I be a gigantic one? Maybe after tonight. <laughs> All right, you'll see. <laughs> after those uh, fluffy hamburgers, yeah. we'll have to see. Um, that's very nice. I, I don't know about icon yet. I think I have to prove myself a little bit more. But um, anyone who, who likes me... I usually like back, so, <laughs> so that's very nice to hear. Well, thank you so much, Marina, Marina from Marina and the Diamonds. Um, if you want to check her out, um, how can they find you? Um, you can go to myspace.com slash Marina and the Diamonds or my blog, where there's lots of art and photography, at marinaandthediamonds.com. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you.